here is the box that I've been going nuts over because I have not been able to find it. This is the box of spare bulbs. And I was getting very agitated that I couldn't find it because there's some things in here that were readily available five or six years ago that are now not readily available. And it would be very difficult, if at all possible, to replace the contents, the variety, and the volume of the contents in this box. So let's take a look and see what we have here. There's two pieces that we'll start with, which I believe I got at an auction. I think it was an earplop auction. So this is um, this is all Lightkeeper Pro branded. I don't know who actually makes it, but these two boxes are all full of um, replacement mini bulbs. All different voltages, different colors, different sizes. Uh, some really unusual ones like frosted green, frosted orange. Uh, I guess this might have been where it come from. I'm not sure anymore. It's been a while since I bought this auction. This might have been the uh, the seller that sold this to me, perhaps. But anyways, um, so it's just all sorts of different ones here. Some of these are, are older. They got some cool packaging. But I, I do use these quite a bit throughout the season, especially this year. These are, are disappearing from stores very quickly. I got some a couple of uh, interesting C7 bulbs. It doesn't belong in this particular box. Oh, I guess it does. <laughs> There's tons of these in the bottom. Those must have been on sale or something. Why did that last so many? So that's this box. And then this other box here also uh, has a lot of mini lights in it. This has some of the fuses for the old C7s and C9s. Some fuses for the mini strings. And all different varieties of mini lights. 2.5 clear, 2.5 colored. There should be some, oh, those are all 3.5 in that box. There should be some 12 volts clear. There should be 12 volts colored. Uh, I mean, there's everything under the sun is in here. And so it would have been very difficult to replace those. Uh, now obviously I will have to eventually replace it because I'm going to run out of them. But um, this should still last me for several years as I continue to search for, for these on the computer. So that's my mini lights. And I have some other just kind of novelty, if you will, things in here. These are all bulbs I've replaced over the years. I used to save stuff like this all the time. Um, this is, I don't know how many years of, of replacement bulbs. I used to put them in this jar and then I would put them in the bag when the jar filled up. Couldn't tell you why I did that, but that's just what I did at the time. And then uh, when the strings would get totaled because the squirrels would eat them or something, I would save the bases. And so I have two bags of bases. And I actually have gone into these bags on many occasions to find a base that fits in a string where one fell out. So it might sound kind of psychotic to have done that, but I'm glad I did. It saved me many times. Got a bunch of... Uh, I got a bunch of um, flickering candle bulbs. These are getting very expensive. These are a couple dollars a piece now. We've got some uh, C7 clears for the candles, window candles. The infamous Lightkeeper Pro, which I bought a new one because I couldn't find it. Uh, we have yellow C7 painted, which these are very hard to find. I suppose now with the advent of all this online shopping, they're not as difficult to find. But years ago, like many, many years ago, back in the 50s and the 60s, actually I have one right here in the hallway. The strings used to come with actual yellow bulbs. Hold on, I'll get you zoomed in on it. That right there is a yellow bulb. It's not orange or whatever the color is now. It's true yellow. 
And I remember my grandfather used to have some of these strings on his tree years ago. And there was one single remaining yellow bulb for the longest time. And I always liked it. So I ordered a box of these to put in some of my strings. And then I lost them. So now I have those. Which I can use. Um, and I like these because they're 130 volts. They last a long time. These are... Uh, C7 miscellaneous looks like some C7 clear, some C7 colored, or no, these are C9s. That's that. This is a good site. I bought a bunch of Christmas lights from there over the years. Uh, and lastly, we have this box. My mother got me this box a number of years ago, and I used this box to. Uh, as like a portable kit that I'll carry around the house and I'm working on different lights around the house. I've got uh, a bunch of bulbs. These are from the, uh, the strings where I took all those bases from. So these are those bulbs. I'd say like 95% of these bulbs are still good. So sometimes I swap those in. Got a bunch of fuses here. Um, and then some of these are different like these I think a three and a half volt. I really should should have labeled these. I just didn't. Um, some of these I did label. So that one says 12 volt for uh, for Bruce's stars, my uncle, um, his tree tree topper star. Um, I guess the, these must have been. Uh, I must have given these to my grandfather temporarily for something because they say from Jordan. Um, and I have, you know, more of the mini lights here, every shape and size under the sun. So, uh, we got two and a half volt color, two and a half clear, three and a half clear, 12 volt color, 3.5 clear, uh, green. These were for those lights I had on the ceiling in the old studio. Seven volts. I don't want to use the 7 volts for this. Kind of an odd one. 12 volts. So just a lot of really useful, handy stuff here. Three and a half volts. I actually need those. I did do some work with those. An old uh, battery is still good. Old uh, tester. So I have a lot of stuff in here that I, I will take around the house with me when I'm working on the, on the lights. So this is why I was going nuts over this because this is really crucial material for keeping the display in good operating order. Fortunately I found it before anything too catastrophic happened. I did lose I think two segments on one of the deer, but whoop to do I hate those things anyways. Oh I like the deer, I just hate those particular ones because they stink. Um, Change all the bulbs on that one, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It's not what it should have been, but sometimes that's what happens. But before I close out the video, now this is just terrible for the bulbs. I want to show one more thing that I got recently this year. Uh, in fact, just a couple of weeks ago, when I went to the Habitat Restore. I have another box now of sphere bulbs. And this is full to the brim. This was the deal of a lifetime. This whole box, I think, cost me about 30 bucks. Um, I mean, they, they were selling these things for 50 cents a pop, I think. 50 or a dollar. I had a bunch of these, which I really, really like those sort of window candles. A bunch of clear ones, which my mother uses for her window candles. And uh, got a set of street lights here. Hopefully, they're high pressure sodium. I haven't tested them yet, but they're nice old metal. So you put them on the table and they actually stand up, which is nice. Um, 
I also got a couple of other miscellaneous things that day. Porcelain trees. Uh, what's this? Oh, some uh, street signs for the village. Got these flicker bulbs. Um, oh gosh, a dollar twenty-two. I remember when these were a dollar twenty-two. That must have been quite some time ago. Is there a copyright date on this thing? Huh, it says copyright twenty twenty-one. I guess it wasn't that long ago. I don't know. These are not a dollar twenty-two in recent times. Those are going way up. Got a ton of those. And uh, what else have we got here? I think I also got some, I have so many of these, I probably have enough for 20 years. Um, I thought, oh yeah, there was some kind of interesting ones in here too, like these uh, frosted ones. I believe you can get these and those at uh, the 1000bulbs.com website. That's a really good site too for getting uh, unusual stuff like this. Of course, the prices were a lot better here than, than there. Um, I also got some of these candle bulbs. So these, these used to be called torpedo bulbs. I don't know what they're called now. This is also copyright 2021, so inherently, I guess these aren't that old, but I really thought that the um, prices had gone up quite a bit on those. I got one or two uh, those. Oh, here's the receipt. Um, so in total, for the whole trip, I paid ninety-six dollars and twenty-five cents. That includes the the village set that I got for thirty-five. So ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty-five. So I paid fifty-five dollars for um, all of these spare bulbs plus the trees and that stuff. And this uh, string lights is a, um, what do you call it, uh, twinkling string of net lights, which is kind of cool. Candle with holly, I remember these back in the day too. And uh, an outrageous quantity of spare bulb that are not super easy to come by. Although these claim to be from Walmart two years ago. You know, admittedly, I don't go to Walmart. So I've never looked there. Maybe the stuff is all in plain sight at Walmart. Oh. So, I mean you can see there's just there's a ton of them in here. There's got to be at least 20, 30, maybe even more. So a lot of spare bolts. I'm gonna put these back in here and start moving all this stuff around because that's not good for the filaments. find somewhere else to put the rest of that stuff so that's my spare bulbs update what a relief that I found the other box and I got a lot of cool spare bulbs for window candles actually I have enough spare bulbs of these that I could probably make a whole string of them that would be kind of cool